Hey guys, this is Julie. I thought I'd switch it up a little bit and make a behind the scenes of ChefJulieYoon.com video so that you could take a tour of my kitchen and see where we shoot our videos, where I do work for the blog, um, the kitchen utensils that I use, the problems that we have, that kind of stuff. I thought it would be fun, so I hope you enjoy this tour. We'll start with the pantry, and you might notice that it's busting out because the, sh the shelves are really shallow actually and it's small so you can't really fit anything in here oh, potatoes yum okay and here's our fridge and it's not a nice stainless steel contraption because we actually rent our apartment we don't own so we can't custom do anything oh look wedding picture Aww. okay and then this is the funny thing Here's our electric coil stove. And I actually like gas ranges, and Joe knows that, so when he shoots our videos, he actually avoids taping this. You'll notice that he'll like get the pot, which is a Le Creuset pot, by the way, um, and he'll avoid the coils. And then, I didn't notice when we first moved in here, but look at the oven. There's no uh, window. See that? So what I end up doing half the time is Oh, is it done yet? Oh, is it done yet? And that really doesn't help the situation. This is my Lazy Susan of Spices. And here is my one of my favorite knives. This is the Shun Ken Onion. And yes, I do display it on the stand at all times. You'll see me using this a lot in my videos. Rice cooker. Yep. With the rice. I'm Asian. And right behind me is the bane of my existence. This little baby sink is really shallow. I mean, seriously, have you seen a more shallow sink than this? And look, method. Um, look at this the faucet. It's like one of those old school, doesn't pull out, doesn't stretch. So like, no lie, when I'm washing an extremely big pot or bowl in here, this is what I have to do. Like that. Like seriously, like I'm giving a baby a bath. And here are my aprons and signs. Um, these aprons are the only two aprons you'll see me wear in rotation on any of the videos or in the pictures. This one is the one I'm wearing um, on the front page of the website. And these are my little vintage looking signs that I really like. This is our tribute to New York on our kitchen counter. This little wooden thing because we used to live there. So every time I hear that song, Empire State of Mind, I start dancing and go nuts. My workstation consists of a tripod, Canon SLR, choco pie, this stainless steel table from Ikea, which is great for when you make pasta doughs or anything else you need that kind of surface for. Um, this rack, hey, check out our rack. Inappropriate. Um, and of course this computer. Shout out to the website, yeah, chefjulian.com. And look, this is where I write a bunch of recipes. All my recipes are original. So literally I do it old school style and then I convert it into Google document and it eventually ends up on the website. I could probably open up my own Williams Sonoma. Not gonna lie, because I do have pretty much everything um, kitchen wise, but I used to do cooking classes and cater, so I have like almost everything that you would need. But you won't see me really pull out the KitchenAid stand mixer or the food processor too, too much in the videos and website because I know that not everyone has one. See, I love this lime green Le Creuset. We're back in the kitchen now, and here's just a few more things. Now I know I mentioned this knife, but I also want to mention this knife. This is the Kyocera Ceramic Blade Santuco. Um, this is kind of like, I would say, my signature knife. It has a plastic handle, so it's lightweight, so it feels like a toy, but don't be fooled. It's really, really sharp. And the good thing about this knife is it doesn't really get dull. And when it does, you can send it away for free sharpening. I love my zester and grater. The microplane is great for smaller jobs like Parmesan cheese, lemon zest, lime zest, and then the bigger coarser grain grater is good for 
like if you don't want to mince your garlic or ginger, you can just grate it instead. Next up, I love colorful kitchen tools. Can you tell? This citrus thing is so great because I cook with a lot of lemon and lime, so it saves me a lot of time squeezing out all that juice. And this meat mallet is very practical for quick cooking because you can just pound out that chicken breast or pork chop and it'll be nice, thin, and even. So when it cooks, it cooks in about half the time and it keeps things tender. Uh, silicone whisk and tongs of different varieties, but I like these tongs not only because they're cute, but because I like to cook with a lot of nonstick pans and then this will not scrape up my pan. And I have these assorted spatulas. They're also silicone heat resistant and these all happen to be from Williams-Sonoma. This is KitchenAid. Um, these were probably wedding gifts. And lastly, Ziploc bags. I cannot have enough Ziploc bags. I always stock up at Costco because Ziploc bags save my life. I put, do everything in them. I freeze in them. I marinate in them. I pound meat in them. They're great. So that's about it kids. I'm running out of battery. The sun is going down and the light is turning really unflattering. So I gotta get going. But I hope you enjoyed this tour. So I'll see you next time. Bye!